There's the rope red. You can see better from here. Rope's going off the flywheel into, I mean, I'm preaching to somebody who already knows, but rope's <laughs> going off the flywheel onto every floor of the mill. Right. The shaft that you can see going through goes from this end of the mill right to the other end of the mill. Every piece of machinery on that floor was worked from that one shaft. Right. governor to stop it okay. over running and this is the secondary governor the brass one oh right yeah yeah we've got these absolutely everywhere self-acting oh yeah yeah oil from the boiler house which is next door right seven lancashire boilers in the boiler house which was shared between this mill and number one mill number one mill was built first Right. 1913 15, and then this one was built 23 25. Right. So they span this sort of First World War. Mm -hmm. oh. So, mayor, high pressure and cylinder, I should say, and the mayor rest the low pressure cylinder. Mm -hmm. When the pressure dropped on that one, it went underground into the mayor rest so mm -hmm. that both sides, and they worked together to turn the right. main wheel. Oh, yeah, I mean, so it's a lot bigger than I thought it was in the photographs, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, we, we've been to Bancroft before and seen that running grain, mm -hmm. and they're both yeah. relatively small engines compared to this. I've, not been, I've only been to Ellen Road to see what I haven't, 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 haven't been there yet. We've, we drove past it once, but yeah. never, not been in it yet. This, this is the biggest one I've ever seen. The estimate. Now, it's different, but mm. um, it's different from the estimate, in fact in some respects. It says the fly rope pulley was 24 feet, but I think it's probably more. Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah. And the weight, 76 tonnes. Yeah. Now, we do have an overhead crane, but the overhead crane, crane wouldn't uh, actually stay as long. Oh, yeah, 12, and a, half tons. 12 and a half tonnes, yeah. Mm. So when, when that bearing gets changed, they're going to have to lift the big wheel. Well, they can't use that because it won't take the weight. Yeah, so they're okay. talking about um, compressed air, you know, the... Oh, like jacks. Yeah. Yeah. The balloon oh, yeah. sort of thing that yeah. they put under yeah. the engine. They're talking about that to lift it. But I'm sure they'll use this to sort of stabilise... Yeah, I suppose there'll, there'll, be, there'll be some back. parts they could use to yeah. lift that. I'm sure if they, if they need to use, lift the cranks, they could, they could use that. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. God, yeah, it's going to be a big job. Yeah, it will be yeah. a big job. But even though you've, you've seen the photographs how it was before, how far they've come with it. Oh, You know, yeah. it's amazing. I mean, it's... You could turn it on tomorrow, but the thing is, with the bearings, the, the main bearings, with those being worn all the time, you know, exactly. and continuing to work. It's not worth it, the risk. It would finish up, the engine wouldn't work at all. So. Yeah, it will, it will, it's not worth the risk. No, I don't think no. so. No, especially if it's, because they're the main ones, we're literally... Half inches away on them. That's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, it's yeah. I mean, so we've we've got the the workings, but you're probably aware of the workings. You know the Lancashire boilers, oh, yeah. which we we've have. got. Um, we've got a pair of those at the pumping yeah. station. Yeah. The cylinders, the high and low pressure, the condenser. That's yeah. where the that's under that, isn't the it? The steam went. It went yeah. underground yet again, yeah. and it's all everything underground from there on. Yeah. And it's, you know, it's still hot, it's still steam, it's still hot when it goes out of there, so yeah. that it goes through the condenser and then it goes through the economiser. The economiser sends the, because it's no water, it sends the hot water through back into the boiler house, mm -hmm. so that hot water's going into the boiler. Right. Which means you don't yeah. need as much coal to heat the water. Yeah. It also means that you don't have... Um, mm. You don't run a risk of cold water on its own going yeah. into the boiler when, yeah. when, when the boiler is really heated yeah. up because it could crack, I suppose, yeah. you know. Got, we, yeah. haven't got, we haven't got an economiser. We've got um, the hot well system, but no, yeah. no economiser or anything mm. like that. But I think for our engine... Then we've got the engine. I've not mm. got a picture of the main governor. We're just sorting mm. there out. 
this is the supplementary governor. It might not be this exact one, but it supplements the main one. That's the overhead crane. And this is, a, it's a recorder really, it records the speed. Right. And that right. goes underground on that side, I believe. We do have one up on top, but it's round the back though, you can right. barely see it. And then this is the carding sets for. So this is not, this is what we ran. Wow, good. Great. Yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> consumption and what have you and he said I'm saving over six pounds per week on petrol and the um, road tax is it the same there's something road tax or insurance one of them is cheaper as well you know so so he said I'm really you know doing that. well I'm saying at the front I don't know which is the front and which is the back I always think of that as the front mm. and this is the back I don't know the right or not I usually get told the easier he, yeah know, puts me right on these things so it's like the starting engine on your car and he keeps mm. saying it's nothing like. I said, well, in as much as it starts it off, mm. you know, what okay. else can you say? And then he had to go on every floor and making sure that all of that was oiled on the other side of the wall. So that was one morning for his And then that was before the engineer came. There's a white arrow on the flywheel. Mm. When the flywheel is, when that arrow is just past top dead centre, they disengage the barren engine and engage the steam and the steam takes over. Got you. You know, so... At that point, they don't need the barren engine at all. It's used mm. for such a short time at the beginning of every day. Mm, yeah. But when they did that sort of trial run, if you like, they tried to get it, so when they stopped it, so that they... It was right, it was right. Thank you.